Hello guys and welcome to another video. This time we're going to talk about normal maps. And what we're going to talk about is how we can change the intensity of a normal map. That's pretty important whenever you want to make your environment look better, you want to increase or decrease the intensity of the normal, then it becomes super, super handful. So what are the normal maps? They are pretty much these shadows that you see here. If I disconnect my normal map from here, you will see that my surface loses all the personality that, that it has. It's just a flat shade without any shadow. Um, that's really not what you want. So in this video, we're going to explore how we can increase the intensity. Now, what you need to know about a normal map, quick pause. This video is sponsored by myself. So if you want to learn more about Unreal Engine 5, make sure to check our website where you can get free high quality courses there for you. Also, you can step up your game by checking our on-demand courses where you can learn different skills in game development. And if you're a serious game developer, make sure to check our UNF game development program where you can learn to create a game from scratch and publish it to Steam. Now let's go back to the video. Is that it has three channels, the red one, the green one, and the blue one. And the red one is pretty much the light coming from here. I don't know how it looks in this camera, but you, you can see that the light's coming from this angle and you can see a shadow here where the, and the green, the light is coming from top and it's creating shadows here. So combining these two is giving us this reddish greenish uh, tone that has like a little bit of shadows from both directions. The blue one, we don't really need it. So uh, let's, let's talk about that in the future. But for now, how do you change the intensity? Most beginners make the mistake of just multiplying this. So if I hold M and click, I have the multiply. I can multiply here. And I can create a variable holding one and click. Or you can also put a constant just like that or right click and multiply. That's the two ways. So you can multiply this. And a lot of people will think because that's how they multiply the normal. Let's just put like, I don't know, a crazy value like 10. <laughs> you will see that it's actually like it's kind of doing its job, but it's doing it poorly. And you will see in a second why. And the reason for that is uh, in order to modify the intensity of the normal maps, we cannot change all the channels. We only need to change the red and the green channel. And that's where, that's where the challenge comes from. So it's very, very easy. And we already has a couple of nodes for that. So you're going to right click and type append and go to append vector. And just like this, connect these two, right click and start previewing. You will see that I have my red and green channel. That's great. So now what I can do is instead of multiplying this, I can just multiply my append node with a value. And I can right click and convert to a parameter such as normal intensity, something like that. All right. But we have a problem because now we only have two vectors. How do we get the third one? Well, it's very easy. We just append again and we can just append this result with the blue channel. And now when you connect with the normal map, you will see that our intensity is like all over the place. Now this looks like a very, very intense, right? So let's. Let's go ahead and just create a material instance for this and put it just right here. And what we want to do is to change the intensity here. So we're just going to change the intensity. So you will see that the default value is one. No normal map is zero. But as you increase intensity, you have more and more shadow contrast. And that's the beautiful thing of this. And where, when this becomes very useful is when you want to add contrast in your scene in some areas and some others. Like you can 
specify where you want the contrast to happen and you have a mix of areas without too much contrast and areas with a lot of contrast and this is where the beauty comes in now like everything uh i always teach don't go over the top with the values like 50 or whatever or minus 50 uh, you can invert the normals like this uh, don't don't do that just play a little bit play a little bit like maybe 1.5 1.6 or maybe you want to decrease it a little bit just a tiny bit so it's like a, maybe a little bit more stylized not much contrast that depends on you but you do have the power to change the normal intensity and the normal map is one of those maps that is you know it is extremely extremely useful it's one of the most important maps when it comes to how it looks to how it looks so that's how you change the normal map guys if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give a like subscribe to watch more unreal engine 5 content my name is mal and i will see you in the next one